What's up guys, we're doing something crazy here today, actually something real simple. This is a 2009 Chevy Silverado and we just rotated the tires and I'm gonna show Philippe here how to, he's gonna be my helper, um, how to reset our tire locations on a system that is uh, unique in that way and it really is, it is as simple as a pocket screwdriver and a little bit of knowledge, so we're gonna have at it. Okay, step one is to turn the key on. Step two, take your transmitter and hit the lock and unlock buttons at the same time. You hold them in. And the horn chirped and it says on my dash, tire learning is active. If you notice, the left front turn signal is on and what that's telling me is which wheel we're learning first. So let me show you the four corners. There's the right front. It looks like the, that turn signal might be on too. Let me show you the brightness difference. See how bright that left front is. You can also look at the mirror, Philippe. Mm -hmm. See on my mirrors, I got the turn signal on the mirror. Yes, sir. So that's the left turn. If I go in the back now, you notice the back, there's no turn signal on. Mm -hmm. So what that's telling me is the, the left front's the one we're learning first. Take that tire cap off, Philippe, and then just put take that pocket screwdriver and start letting air out. You a big dude, Philippe. You should be a football player. What's there you go. Did you hear that beep? Yes, All right, so what that thing did is, is the computer basically just noticed a tire pressure drop on the left front and it said, oh, okay, that's where the new tire is. Okay, okay so it beeped. Mm -hmm. You can leave that cap off because we okay. got to put air in it. And now, and now you'll notice the right front is lit. See the right front turn signal is lit brighter. Yep. And on my mirror, so the sequence is left front, right front, right rear, left rear. And to check yourself, you can go through and look at the turn signal. Mm -hmm. Nice. Right rear is next, and as you can see, the right rear turn signal is lit bright to indicate which wheel you're doing. Yep. And the reason we're leaving these caps off is we have to air these back up. This, uh, this is a heavy duty one, and it takes 80 in the rear and 60 in the front. Wow. So we're gonna have to let all kinds out in the front, because those were in the back. But for now, we're just worried about the beat. Keep going. That one's taking a while. Keep going, man. There you go. Sweet. <laughs> I got the light turn on on that one, that was cool. Mm -hmm. Now we do left rear. Okay. Should be the last one and then when we're done, it should beep twice telling us that we're done with the whole process. Okay. And so the reason this is important, Philippe, on this model is if you get a low tire pressure light on, mm -hmm. it's gonna tell me on the dash which tire's low. So if you don't relearn the position of these tires, mm -hmm. then it's gonna indicate to the driver if you got a low tire, mm -hmm. that it's the it's the wrong wheel. Wrong wheel. If it says left front, it might be left rear. So it's important to program the wheel in the location. Cool, it's good, man. So the rest of the way, all I'm gonna do is set my tire pressures to what the door says, which is 80 in the back, 60 in the front. Mm -hmm. That's it, that's how you relearn tire pressures on a GM. Mm -hmm. Cool, thanks for your help, man. No problem, man. Appreciate it, brother. <laughs> Thank you. Uh -huh.